Hey guys, Drew with Because Jitsu back again. We're going to go over a three pass chain. So, this is a system of three different passes to get through when somebody's just holding onto your ankle. It's not going to be a full half guard runner around the quad, but it's like a quarter guard runner clamping onto your ankle. This happens very often from a knee cut situation. And we're going to give you two other primo options from there besides the knee cut. We'll show you how to finish the knee cut as well, but if it's just not working for you, you've got two other dope options that we're going to go over for you. All right, so starting in what would be a knee cut situation, I've got my knee already on the ground. It's important to know that he doesn't have a shield in front of me here. If he has this here, it's a totally different situation. Right now, he's just clamping on. I've made sure I've locked this so he can't bring that shield in. And all I'm concerned with is getting this ankle through so that I can finish my pass. So to finish this knee cut pass, the very first thing I need to concern myself with is this top arm. If he gets an underhook on me, I gotta back out. I'm not ready. Okay, I need to win this underhook battle first. So I'm gonna dig deep here, grabbing the back of his shoulder and clamping my shoulder to it. I want to make sure that he can't circle around and get this underhook back. If I'm loose here, he can circle and bring that under and we're gonna be fighting again. I wanna get under and make sure he can't ever get it back. Clamp down, make sure there's no room here. Now, if I can get this shoulder on the ground, even better. But what I wanna do next is deal with this hand. My free hand is gonna grab it and pin it way away. So I'm making space right here for my body to take up once I pass. If I leave it down here and let him free, it's going to frustrate my pass even once I get my foot free. So I want to preemptively open that space, make sure that I've got room. The last thing is I wanna use my last limb, which is my head, to push his head in the opposite direction, which twists his spine and makes it very difficult for him to turn towards me in frame, which is good. From here now, I'm just going to turn my hips up towards the sky and cut that leg up, coming into a Kesakitami position or scarf hold, and then you can switch back to your typical side control to complete your pass. Now, I said that this is a three chain system, so there are two other options in this passing chain. Uh, it's going to, a good way to think about it is the knee position. So I can be on the near side here with this knee, I can be right in the middle, or I can be far side. So let's start uh, the next one over, which is going to be dead down the middle. So let's say this isn't working for, for a good reason is I can't get my underhook, okay? So like I said, if I cannot win this underhook battle, if, if he's getting way too defensive here and I'm just losing this and I'm scared I'm going to lose a position, I'm going to cut my losses and roll him onto his back and put my knee right in the middle. Okay, I have every opportunity to do this. Once my knee is on the middle right here, I want to put ample weight. I want to drive this knee like I'm trying to touch the ground through his body. And as I do that, I'm going to come under his head and then redig this underhook to get head and arm control. I'm putting all my pressure down, spearing through that knee, making it very uncomfortable. Now, the most important part of this, let me turn a little bit. Watch what my free foot does here. Right now it's just acting as a post. All my weight is coming down through my head and arm and through my knee that's on his belly. And then this foot is going to come over and jam in like a spear. Okay, I don't want it flat like this. I want to point it and jam it in and find my other foot and be perfectly symmetrical side by side with it. And then drop my knees and then I'm right to mount. Okay, so it's very important when we're jamming that second leg in that it ends up exactly beside my foot. I don't want here or here any derivation of that. This is what I want. Then you butterfly out and bring your legs in. So again, option one isn't working. I push over, get my knee down, under the head, under the arm. I'm posting, I've got lots of forward pressure. It's very uncomfortable. This one spears in, finds my other foot, drops the knees to the ground, and flop out for the full mount. So the last option in our passing chain is going to be to the far side over here. We're going near side, middle, now we're going far side. So to turn him over at this point, I need to either grab under his arm here, or I can even grab back on his knee that's clamping and just pull everything this way. Right? Once I get my knee down here, I'm actually what's called a three-quarter mount. So not only is it a one-quarter guard back here, but three-quarters of the way to mount. He's just holding on to my ankle. My favorite way to use this position is to take this top arm and get a gift wrap right here. So I'm bringing it in front of his face and catching a wrist control underneath his head. I'm going to slide this knee way up high, okay? It needs to be like by his shoulder or higher. Not so high that it's past his head, but like midway up the skull or back of the neck is perfect. Once I'm here, I've got my gift wrap. I'm going to come underneath to catch a figure four on my own wrist, sucking everything up nice and tight. Because what I'm going to do is turn this foot into a chair sit back take by bringing it to his spine, sitting back, 
throwing my leg over to complete my back tip with two hooks. So one last look at that. We've got our knee down here. I'm going to either pull the arm or grab the knee, roll them over this way. Grab my gift wrap right here. Bring my knee up nice and high. Figure four, suck it into the chest. Swing this leg in. Yeah, don't want to leave it up here. Swing it in. Sit down. Swing over. This leg now comes in. If he's got his leg up defending that hook as I'm trying to swing this in, that's being beaten, just grab your own foot right here in what's called a half back. You just clamp your other foot like a half guard from the back. And then once the opportunity arises, then you can swing this one in, get your points, get your uh, hooks for control. And then obviously we're going to be fighting for chokes the whole time. So I feel a little bit unethical wearing a leg locker rash guard with having no leg locks in this video at all. So for those leg lock aficionados, if you're ever in quarter guard right here, instead of passing, we're just going to kill the guard altogether. You can just put forward weight here, back step over, and start coming into your leg game. So you've got tall reliefs, you've got heel hooks, straight ankle locks, anything that you want to do to just hurt this guy's feelings around the leg areas. All right, so there's your three chain passing system from the knee cut. I have a lot of success with this one. It's one of my favorite passing series. Chain those together, they go together in any order back and forth, and you're gonna find yourself passing with a lot higher frequency. So I hope you like, hope you use. Drop any comments, any suggestions, and make sure to subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.